to Mrs. Mary Jones at Brambleton Hall. MRS. Jones, Providence hath been pleased to make great halteration in the pasture of our affairs. We were yesterday three kipple chined, by the grace of God, in the holy bands of matter money, and I now subscribe myself Lloyd at your sarvest. All the parish allowed that young squire Dallison and his bride was a comely pair for to see duck. As for Madame Lashney Hago, you knows her peculiarities, her head, to be sure, was fantastical, and her spouse had wrapped her with a long American furs cloak from the land of the salvages, thoth they say it is of immense belly. The captain himself had a huge hassock of air, with three tails, and a tamtadry coat, bordered with sulphur. One said he was a monkey bank, and the old bottler swore he was the born image of Tidadald. For my part, I says nothing, being as how the captain has done the handsome thing by me. Mr. Lloyd was dressed in a light frog, and check it with gold binding, and thoth he don't enter in comparison with great folks of quality, yet he has. God is good blood in his veins as arrow privat squire in the county, and then his pursing is far from contentabled. Your humble servant had on a plain pea-green tabby sack, with my runnela cap, rough to bay, and side curls. They said, I was the very moral of Lady Rickmanstone, but not so pale, that may well be, for her ladyship is my elder by seven good years and more. No, Mrs. Mary. Our satiety is to suppurate, Mr. Milfart goes to Bath along with the Dallisons, and the rest of us push home to. Wales, to pass our Krishmarsh at Brambleton Hall, as our apartments is to be the yellow pepper, in the third story, pray carry my things thither. Present my compliments to Mrs. Gwillem, and I hope she and I will live upon descent terms of civility. Being, by God's blessing, removed to a higher sphere, you'll excuse my being familiar with the lower servants of the family, but, as I trust you'll behave respectful, and keep a proper distance, you may always depend upon the good will and protection. Of yours, W. L. O. I. D. November 20th. Finest.